All right, so uh, this is going to be a every sun moon and as well a uh, rising weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in the personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the first card, which represents the general topic of your week, Aries, that is to be uh, the four of uh, wands. Moving next here, we do have the energies that feeds up the situation, that is to be the seven of cups. Then what we have, it is the challenges that you will have to stand against and uh, overcome, hopefully. That is to be the Four of Swords. And then the next one here, which represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week, uh, that will be the Five of Cups. Then the fifth one is going to be uh, how people are uh, looking at you. What kind of an impression people are going to have uh, when they see you throughout the week. And that is to be of the King of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have it is uh, to be the guidance uh, that uh, Taro is offering, and that will be uh, the uh, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so uh, standing with the first couple of cards here, guys, which are the Seven of Cups and uh, the Four of Wands, uh, we do have the energies. And Seven of, Cup, uh, seven of Cups as uh, energies does represent kind of like a, a protection of making the wrong thing. Because um, when the energies of the Seven of Cups plays around, uh, the most we can do of our actions and the things we say in general or whatever we are striving toward, it is a, a disappointment that we can, uh, th that we are to face. However, that disappointment is not going to happen after the point of no return. Okay, so we are going to have, we are to have a chance, whatever we are disappointed with, to Take, take back, for example, our words or to take back, for example, our actions, go on, go at the starting point and do it all over again. This time around, being more, being right about it or this time around, making it right. And uh, also the Seven of Cups, it does speaks for some sort of a, uh, 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 of being grounded in a sense of that it's not like we are going to uh, or you, Aries, are going to kind of like uh, float in the sky or float into the uh, into the clouds and trying to achieve things that are, are beyond your um, uh, beyond your capabilities here. But instead, you are to focus on what you know and you are to focus on what you can do with an exceptional subtlety throughout uh, this week. And that whole thing is going to lead you to the four of uh, ones, which stands as the topic of the week. And uh, four of ones, it's the card that points that marks a, uh, a, a, a finalization, not exactly ending, but a, a finalization of some sort of a development, of a cycle of development. Uh, it's very different from the world, though, and from other cards that are pointing a finalization, because the four of ones, it kind of like, it, it, it speaks for a, a milestone that has, that has been achieved. And now you have to think of how to proceed that with even a, a bigger expectations. In a sense of that the four of wands um, may mark the uh, commitment after a, a long time of dating. Okay, It could mark as well finally starting to do something that you have planned for a long time and you try to kind of like a... Uh, um, define the foundation of it as as well as you could and you have done it near to perfection and that's why now you do have the foundations to do what you what you'd like to do so here uh, what those two cards really are pointing to you Aries it is pretty much a week of uh, of a successful development one way or another that whatever you try to do you are going to do it right maybe not from the first try all right but um <clears throat> Nonetheless, if you are not giving up and if you are persistent enough, eventually you are going to do it right and you're going to have the prize that you are striving for. So what I can advise you here is to keep your eyes on it. I mean, you keep your eyes on the prize. Uh, next one that we do have, it is to be the challenges and that will be the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords as a challenges, it kind of like relates to the environment the whole world is all is into. And Four of Wands is related to lack of activity in a sense of that uh, 
not many things are moving around and the more that the situation requires from you here above everything else it is a careful analysis and careful deliberate, deliberation on it now the four of wands also speaks that it may be challenging for you to accept other people's opinion and other people's advice if you will because the card itself does represents a, a deliberation with a faithful companion that can actually see the situation you are in uh, in a more objective level than you can see it because let's face it guys when we are involved into a situation we do not see that situation objectively we always hope for the best that is within our human nature but we do have someone or you Aries do have someone around you that is simultaneously either a good friend or a family or relative of yours that actually sees the things exactly as the things are and tries to give you some sort of an advice here and it will be challenging for you to take on that advice and do what that person tells you in uh, in general uh, so challenges wise it will be actually uh, putting your mind straight or kind of like collecting your mind together and Put it uh, and focus it on one particular uh, fulcrum, if you will, and also that whatever comes around that sits outside of your personal box of understanding, that you should take it under consideration. You may not act on it, all right, but at least you gotta take it a under consideration. Uh, now, next one, uh, it will be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week, guys, and that will be the five of cups. So a five of cups is another card that shields, shields people of failure and pretty much as a gift in the blessings, the five of cups points that whatever sit back you are to experience throughout the week, whatever disappointment, heartbreak, you know, or, or a failure in general is just going to be a, a temporary one. And nothing or not everything, well, nothing is to be lost because you have a, um, a, a right to do a correctional exam here. What I mean is that you get to do it once again or you get to do it third time once more. So <clears throat> that being said to me, how that reading stands for you, Aries, it is that you should not give up and waver the, uh, the, the white flag here. But instead, if you fall down, because you couldn't do something the way you wanted it. Uh, you have to stand up, uh, pick up your things together and try it again. Uh, this time around a little bit different, you know, a different strategy. Maybe what you are lacking here is the advice of that person that uh, is seeing things a little bit different from you from the way you're seeing them right but nonetheless at the end of the day once again if you are persistent enough you are going to be able to do what you want to do the way you want to do it and, and it looks like that uh, with the first couple of cards here we're we are having you sitting on some sort of a, a very well established uh, an achievement that you can afterwards excel on um <clears throat> five of cups ops also as a gift and blessing it kind of points that people are on the right track because the card itself it does speaks that you shouldn't deviate from what you have thought up until now is for you or for what you are striving up until uh, at that particular uh, point of uh, uh, of your life in general so uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a test really to see uh, from the universe if you will to see how much you want that thing are you willing to bail of it just because you are facing a, a minor setback along the way uh, next one it is uh, how people are gonna take at you uh, I mean what kind of an impression people are gonna have uh, seeing you how you perform throughout the week and that is the impression of the king of pentacles so uh, a quite good one though, uh, from one or another way people are to see you quite reliable in a sense of that uh, because the King of Pentacles always consolidates and stabilizes what they have at that point before they actually start thinking for a new challenges, for new endeavors, you know, and in general new directions into their lives. So uh, that being said, why people are going to see you reliable, it is because they're going to see how much you value the things you have. At that point, they're going to see how much you value, for example, uh, your career, how much you value your life, how much you value your children, your home, you know, your, the way you're making money as well and how you're trying to improve and all that. Because that's about the King of Pentacles. He 
always first in establish his domain before actually trying to go for a new domains to conquer or for kind of like a new fields to incorporate himself into additionally to that people were going to see you quite generous but that but with the king of pentacles that should not be mistaken with charity meaning that if someone gives you are to be willing to take uh, to uh, to give as well it's kind of like a, a mutual game of giving and taking in between which puts you in a pretty good spot if we're talking about relationship you know if you uh your partner or your person of interest or whatever uh, they are going to see you that if they appropriate uh, that if they behave towards you appropriately you are to behave appropriately toward them as well but looking at the previous cards it will take a little bit of a time to align you know there are to be some kind of like a disappointing moves and kind of like a, a uh, not exactly well placed words out there but like I said nothing major that should be a prerequisite to break a, a beautiful a kind of like a cooperation that may come up uh, of all of that and the last one it is the guidance here that Taro is offering that is to be the ten of pentacles so ten of pentacles as a guidance it does point that you should uh, place your um, resources and your efforts at the right place okay uh, that being said you should not be scattered at all also the card speaks about the warmth of home and that is kind of like a uh, uh, I don't know the English word how to say it. It's, it's not exactly a parody here, but it is more like a uh, mm, Well, I, I, what I was trying to say it is that we are in such a situation that we have to stay at home and that card as a guidance to you Aries at this point that you can find more warmth and more excitement and also kind of like a more stuff to do in general at home only if you look around yourself additionally to that uh, as a guidance this card points that you should try to become as much depend uh, independent uh, independent as possible that being said if you do have things that you owe to people and you do have the ability to repay back well that is the way to do it you know so you don't have that thing catching up with you moving further into the future when you do excel on the good foundation that you are to uh, build up for yourself throughout this week and finally uh, ten of pentacles uh, as a, a guidance card points that everybody deserves a second chance you included you know you're gonna have yours but somebody may try to have their second chance with you as well and it will be advisable for you to give them that second chance so that being said there is this was your weekly general tarot reading march 23rd to uh, march 29th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh from which you can uh schedule reading and uh that being said Hopefully we're going to see each other around. Stay safe and until then, bye.